Another cause of hyperthyroidism is autonomous or hyperfunctioning nodules. These are often suspected based on exam or on imaging findings. In this case, the thyroid has a nodule that is producing excess thyroid hormone. The thyroid hormone enters the bloodstream and acts at the level of the pituitary to decrease TSH. The labs will show an increase in thyroid hormone levels with a low TSH level. Thyroid nodules are more common in older people and more common in individuals who are from areas of iodine deficiency, such as Russia, parts of Europe, Africa, and Southeast Asia. Autonomous nodules tend to get worse over time. They'll grow bigger and tend to cause more symptoms. If you suspect an autonomous nodule based on exam, you should obtain an ultrasound, which will confirm the presence of a nodule, but will not give you information about whether or not that nodule is hyperfunctioning. For that, you need to obtain a radioactive iodine scan. Autonomous nodules will appear as intense areas of focal uptake on the scan, consistent with a hot nodule. Non-functioning or cold nodules will show decreased uptake, and occasionally you'll have a thyroid with both hot nodules and cold nodules. But the radioactive iodine scan is the only way to definitively diagnose an autonomously functioning nodule. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how Met Mastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About Met Mastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.